Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing fabulous. Thanks for joining for a daily general reading. If you are returning, welcome back, guys. I appreciate you all so very much. If you are new, listen, I'm not church or religious or anything like that. I have a Hebraic descent, and so I keep all ten of the commandments, and today is a special day. It's a day of rest. It is the Shabbat, and I honor it. And the scripture tells us that the the Shabbat is the sign between us and Yehovah. Uh, and so I honor this day and so I just give it a shout out on on it so anyway um, if you don't know who Jehovah is he is the maker of heaven and earth people call him the universe he's got so many names about him uh, to describe his attributes and and uh, his personality and he's just he's spirit and he's about truth and he's about life not death uh, he's about um, he's he's just he, he get up in war for you and I he's an Elohim of war against stupid nasty wickedness and so my channel looks at a lot of real heavy energy to uproot that stupidness uh, because it is stupid. It's immature. It's stupid. And uh, Jehovah is tired of it. And he's shaking out wicked energies every single day in the earth like he tells us in his scripture. Um, and so my, my channel will look at real hardcore energy. So um, anyway, buckle up. I feel the energy and sometimes Jehovah just come up on me and just out of the blue and just roar at something. And he says that the righteous are bold as a lion. And so uh, you and I must get up and roar against that stupidness because it's stupid. Don't act that way in the earth. If you fell down, you will get up and say, I was stupid. Every one of us has had a stupid moment in our life before. Okay. So, um, you're proud and you're full of ego. If you think I've never made a mistake and I can't look in the mirror. Well, then you're stupid. Okay. And I'll be the first one to tell you that you're stupid. Then it's time to look in the mirror and get up and be blessed and teach from that place, please. And thank you for doing that. Okay. Um, maybe other people, um, might want to point your finger and say, how could you, and you think that you're, uh, you're clean. Well, you hold up makes us clean. Okay. No person gets to say you are, or you're not or whatever. Okay. So, um, be a blessing today to somebody and, uh, you know, um, if somebody has uh, offended you, then you need to go to that person. And there are steps that we have to take. Some people won't take that step because they're full of pride and they're fools. And Jehovah calls them that. And so you just need to avoid those fools. And if you've done your part, Jehovah will take the fools out. Um, so anyway, this kind of who I am. And I'm, I'm just real, um, real straightforward. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. If it's an anniversary, happy anniversary. If you're down and out, I totally get it, okay? And Jehovah has been the lifter of my head and has taught me how to get up and teach my hands how to war against those type of energies. And so just get up and let Jehovah just uh, put comfort over you. If you're crying today, I get it. Um, Jehovah's Holy Spirit will comfort you and he'll get up and say, let me fight for your, for your hurt. And he, he will help you. All right. So anyway, with all that said, guys, let's get in here and see what's going on. Thank you, sweet Jehovah Elohim. I appreciate you so very much. Come on in here and prophesy. Bring hope to those who need hope. Let them know that they can do it. They can get up. They can walk in your truth. They can walk in your commandments and find your light. Because without walking in your commandments, which is the duty of all that King Solomon uh, instructs us, uh, and Yehovah, Yeshua told us that if uh, we love you, we will keep those commandments. And uh, without the commandments, we have no light in us because the commandment is a light. Uh, it's Your law is a lamp into our feet and a light into our path. And uh, we're blind without it. So give hope today to those who need it. Give them strength. Guide their way. Order our steps by your word today, Yehovah. Rebuke and bind and block every foul, wicked, fool, and enemy that would try to come and do anything. No weapon formed against your people shall prosper in every tongue that rises up against us. We condemn it. I condemn it right now to any fool, any wicked person who's tried to scheme something uh, without any kind of cause of trying to get away with stuff. You are condemned right here, right now. Yehovah rebuke you. I just thank you, Yehovah, for the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth today. As always is what we seek. We seek our Abba in heaven by truth. We have the hangman and we have the page. Okay, well, 
or the hangman is somebody's really trying to figure out what to do looking from every how do I do something something's confusing here I guess it's confusion um, this is trying to see something from a different perspective for some people this is prison so some people are dealing with prison matters because there's some stupid stupidness is out here because of psychedelic behaviors and creativity and and uh, got people turned around circulation would be here this is poisons this is a favorable testimony to something if you are dealing with somebody who is uh, looking at prison uh, because this is goes back to mischievousness there's like a new relationship or um, a child or a teenager could be here involved in something didn't have to and this is could be a, you know a lover or something like that fire is real outgoing uh, fire and water make a hurricane. This is a stormy waters here coming out in this reading. We have, the, so yes, yeah, so, you know, you're dealing with somebody who's just held back, held back, held back, trying to secure something with the four of pentacles. Okay, if you're dealing with security and organization, then you are. Again, so then we've got somebody trying to figure out something in a very mischievous way. Like fools that don't get up, the scripture says, um, you know, obviously it says that a righteous man will fall seven times and he'll get up. If you're this foolish, somebody's in witchcraft because I'm just sitting here and I'm going to hold on to something because of something I did. And oh my God, something stormy here and I'm looking at prison. I've got to figure out something now. Uh, this card has a mischievous energy here uh, on on it. And it states that if you don't get up, you don't do the right thing, you don't make things right, and you want to look in the mirror, then the scripture says you fall into um, mischievous stuff. Okay? Uh, so, so it's here. Somebody is. Somebody's holding on. And it's put somebody in this, somebody's greedy. Somebody's, if I want to look at that like that, and I will because it is out here. Uh, somebody's got a root of evil because they're greedy for gain. They've done something. They've stole something. They've probably killed for it as well with the four of swords. I wanted to show itself real quick. Let's see this hangman. You'll hold up. We have the J and the L coming out here. Somebody's in backwards organization. Um, this is the shepherd staff. And this represents represents in the Hebrew that the great almighty shepherd is protecting his flock and don't care how much the storm is raging he's he's got us in his hand and it's locked he said no one can pluck you out of my hand you're protected if you're walking with me and keeping my covenant i uh, don't care how much they try to plot together because he said surely they would try uh but you'll hope it makes them just fall in their own uh trap somebody's crazy this is sacrifice we got children sacrificing out here and that's not okay people so if something's known about that children sacrificing and stealing and oh my gosh I gotta sit here and figure out something because there's something now confusing or somebody went into confusion because they do they go crazy for that stupidness uh, they're twice dead within that that's a murder energy then just something just been very sacrificial here within some ordeals also caused somebody to have to sit here and uh, also in the upright to figure out what to do and just trust in the midst of the storm uh, within this show me this hangman please you'll hold it yeah somebody's a lying cheating piece of crap they are and so let you hold it elohim just speak it and bring it out somebody's a crazy fool they're just a crazy fool out here okay um somebody needing to leave stormy waters by somebody's mental they're mental they're in their head in their bed all the time my god what do i do i went crazy i can't see straight i've put somebody else here because i've taken something i've stolen i've looted i've cheated i've lied i've went down a wrong path and now my mind is just like this all the time and uh, all i can do is to stay in mischievous stupidness um because I'm stupid, I guess. Somebody's stupid here. Show me the page. Is there some type of message? Or somebody needs to give a favorable testimony because somebody needs to get a job. They're guilty. This is a guilty card. It's not okay in our earth. You'll hold us shake them out because they are of no worth at this point. They're twice dead. Show me this page. What's this page here for you? Hold on. What is this? Boy, I'm really feeling some strong energy coming through my spirit uh yeah somebody had a lover maybe got pregnant and this is about hiding but this is something's known about it okay um you know this is the head of something in the hebrew the letter r is also here um this is the resh the head the man of a certain 
certain man that may be even known, uh, the boss, the chief of something, um, somebody's at the top of something, especially if they did something and some type of pregnancy has taken place, is real emotional or something around a cup, we got poison out here. Um, then, you know, apparently somebody's, you know, trying to figure out what do I do? This is, I'm strategizing all the time. What do I do? I can't even sleep because I'm like, ah, uh, some, something's here. So sometimes if somebody did give a favorable testimony to some crazy fool out here, um, then that's what it's showing. And this is blowing something up or just something's known. Obviously, if somebody's trying to hide it and that's being sneaky, then, um, the heavens are blowing something up. The heavens are waking people up. We got literally people coming all at, uh, awake to something. Boom! Uh, within some ordeal. And again, this goes back to death, secret sex. You know, somebody got pregnant. Things on property with this house. Uh, somebody's taxes are here, or something. Something to do with money then would be here with this house. Um, third parties are here in this reading. Show me the four of pentacles, please, Yulva. Show me the Four of Pentacles. Um, this is the letter Lamid, which would be the L. This is the um, the Resh, the letter R. Uh, a ruler, if you, you know, run that back in itself, because we do have the head of something. There's some type of ruler here, and I was doing another reading, and my camera cl clicked off, so I'm making it a part one, part two. Um, but a judge was there. We had rulership really coming out in a really big way. There was a gun there. Something is, is there with a, a weapon. But again, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. This is a prophecy card. And everything stolen is going to be returned to the person that it belongs to because you'll say so. Um, show me the four of pentacles. So you people who have been taken advantage of and have been persecuted without a cause and um, you kept your heart in awe of Jehovah's word and you rejoiced Joyce at his word, and uh, as you you found a great spoil because Jehovah is our our our, our treasure, then uh, just know Jehovah's closing something out within some stupid ordeal. There will be a judgment here. Okay, somebody obviously made a judgment on something. If it was foolish because they're a freak, within some matter, if it's just ahead of something, whatever that is, we need to pray for our leadership people. We're told to pray for them because uh, you know that the heart of the king is in the hand of Jehovah, and uh, if you the hardens a heart it's because he already found it within that heart of that rulership of no worth look when when we have rulership that's not in the upright the people mourn okay you want us to hide them his people because they they, they just cause havoc uh, and when when righteous people are in up uh, upright leadership and whatever it is all across the world and businesses even your head of household then there, there, there's happiness there okay but there's craziness here showing up but within somebody's ordeal whatever this is or that's you done something you don't want to look in the freaking mirror to do the right thing uh, a, me a message is here Okay, okay, so some, somebody's just sitting here, and this is greed, this is bank systems, okay, so we've got mischievous stuff here, and so again, if that's in the, in the, in the negative, somebody just going to be, this is stubborn, I have the second house, the letter H is also here, this is a revelation in the Hebrew of a little man going, oh, okay, it's some, some, something is here, it's, you know, somebody's breath got taken away, because some, something sacrificial went around it, somebody's been trying to hide that stupid thing, we've got society here, somebody, oh my God, I'm known, I can't let nobody know that I killed somebody, I got the rights to sacrifice. You don't have the right to sacrifice kids. Uh, you don't have the right to sacrifice the person. You don't. Are you willing to show up in your little stupid organization and say, I'm here today to be sacrificed for my fake demon God. I will go into the fire with my own child that I'm fixing to put it. No, you would never do it. You would never do it. We have pages coming out here. We do have child sacrificing. We really, really do. Coming out here. Okay? And we've got, you know, yesterday I did some uh, combination readings. And uh, we had, you know, somebody who was dealing with um, spiritual leaders kept coming out. Okay? We deal with somebody who's a fake in their wolf in sheep's clothing. Let you hope we take care of that person and meet that person the same way. This energy when I did a combination. If you're in the upright, you're in the upright. If you're not, then you're not. Okay, only you know who you are. Um, this energy right here, um, when I did a combination reading, I think with this house, the second and the twelfth house together, there was blood guiltiness there. Somebody blood guilty, trying to get away with it. 
somebody's or somebody's come around and gave a favorable testimony about it and uh, this is about to try and throw somebody out because they're freak x problems are involved spiritual union stuff is here okay well and um somebody says i am willing to look into the mirror are you some people are some people are not we have um, no one ever looked at me the way that you did. Okay, so somebody is dealing with somebody who gave a, a, a testimony and opened in their heart chakra, then that's great. But we've got two wands out here, and that's plotting, and what do I do, and I'm at a crossroad, and oh my gosh. And so if there was a spiritual reunion around some ordeal and something bad went down within that because there was lying here, we got lying here, okay? Um, I think everything that we do is spiritual. What's underneath this? Somebody says, you were made for me, and uh, let me spoil you, and please find forgiveness. Is it true? I'm not sure. Only you know. For some people, that will be true. For some people, it will not be. Because we get, still got, we can't take away from the energy. We know that there's still fools out there. The letter R is here twice. Okay, um, this is the Raito. Okay, well, I always make a reference to phonics, and so the radio. Something is known, people are waking up to some stuff, and something's been mischievous around it. There's been guiltiness and stormy waters, and I'm holding on to your money, and uh, something's happened, okay, because of X problems. If somebody is dealing with their X, that's crazy, but you found a spiritual union, and you, uh, you know, are looking in the mirror because you got mixed up in something as well within something then that's great um because some people are dealing with third parties that will never look in the mirror um, this goes back to um separation and cooperation and removal and taking a ride and travel and stuff like that so something did happen on travel then, then it did i guess uh again somebody trying to get somebody thrown out but they're trying to get away with their stupidness and that's just not okay that is just not okay okay somebody is confused here there's a consequence on what somebody does touch not mine anointed and do my prophets no harm you will you will meet the holy one right uh in your face okay but if you went crazy you're a disgrace if we can get rid of you anyway for what you think that you're trying to do people are sick of the wickedness Jehovah, please send your angels down in here and fight send the angel of the lord to just knock them out today what else you want to bring out here Jehovah? Haughtiness is here. Yes, haughtiness is here because we got stormy waters and we got a lying, cheating freak. And somebody said, I will look in the mirror, and that was a lie. Okay, then it was a lie. That somebody fixing to get a destruction on them. Haughtiness comes before destruction. Um, and so somebody being warned today. Okay, somebody gonna be warned today because if there's insecurity, and this goes go back to insecurity as well, I guess. Um, you know, if you're not going to put your pride down, there's going to be a destruction here on you. This is a male relative as well. There's been, you know, um, mourning and death and loneliness around something here. Okay, so this is some type of um, death issue that is here. Well, again, it's right here. Jehovah hates a hot keeps his eyes on it to bring it down. We also have a real liar out here in the phonics. We have a junior. So you can go by junior or you're done with your, you know, son or something like that. We have wisdom or a grandparent here as well. Okay, this is an older parent. Could be male or female then since this is also coming out here. You're dealing with somebody who's rigid than you are because there's stupid haughtiness out here. Somebody just in greed and I have something and oh my God and I'm crazy and I got to get out of this thing and nobody ain't going to let you get out of it. You fell in your own trap. This is death and life situations. Again, we got, you know, new births and things like that and we got death that's also been hidden within that. Okay, some type of a reunion has been here, or something happened around a reunion, then I guess that's what Yehovah is bringing out today. Yehovah, I thank you that you're going to slay your enemy because you already stated uh, that you were going to take out Leviathan, that old the piercing serpent that has done wickedness in the earth. And I thank you that um, you got us protected. Take some words here. Yes, somebody's been protecting somebody because the Most High had laid it upon their heart to do so. Thank you for 
those of you who have heard from Jehovah to do that, uh, may a blessing, a double, a triple blessing come upon you for obeying the word of Jehovah. Um, the pure in heart shall see Elohim, yes. Uh, siblings are involved. Well, we just see the Three of Cups, and that is a soulmate card, and your own enemies will be right out of your own stupid household. Um, somebody who spits all the time is here. Well, you got a spitter, I guess. Uh, Jehovah likes to spit at those who are um, not hot or cold, and they're going to get a big loogie down their face as well. We have the second house here. It's right here. Okay, so somebody does have something. Somebody's throat. If somebody was also choked, we have the hanging man here as well. So vocal cords are here. We have the radio, and you're dealing with somebody He's also known in society, and we already know it. Um, the truth is known. Yes, it is known. And um, there's mutual truthful love, and it's known uh, even intuitively if you haven't had the conversation yet. So it's here, but somebody's got X problems around somebody's mischievous, uh, and there's a spiritual union, like I said, and somebody is having, it's safe for you to love, and you're having those emotions. It's known by the other party as well, whether your ex likes it or not. There has There's war. There has been war here. I've seen the emperor today as well. Um, somebody has... Um, um, has been covering something. Uh, so there's a there's like a covering type of energy here. Um, a protective covering. Well, we have somebody who's been told by Jehovah, you need to protect this person because there's a freak around. Uh, your siblings are involved, so let every word be established and two or three witnesses is coming out here twice. We already know it. Uh, we know who started it. A cord is involved. Again, your vocal cords are here. It's over here. Let every word be established and two or three witnesses. In a secret safety deposit box, there is probably money there or some type of something that was, you know, um, whatever, whatever that is. Just something's in a secret de safety deposit box. We also have um, an arsonist here. Now, again, we had the world card come out for today, which is an all-consuming fire. Somebody did not have any wisdom within some ordeal. Um, and something happened within, uh, you know, some fire. It is, it's is—it's an ending of some type of cycle. And the wicked are going to go and be burned because a fire goes before you hold that and burns up his enemy. Um, some Somebody's cell phone is has been tapped into and messed with and everything else. You're also dealing with the cleaner. Then you're dealing with a cleaner. This is what come out for this reading, Shalom.